Elasticity gives us a quantitative measure of how quantity of stuff changes relative to the price, relative to our income, relative to other goods. Okay? So we need some definitions. Elasticity. Elasticity, a measure of responsiveness of the change in quantity demanded or quantity supplied to a change in one of its determinants. Most often we'll talk about price elasticity. Okay. Price elasticity, measure of how much quantity demanded or quantity supplied responds to a change in the price of that good. <coughs> we say a good is elastic changes substantially to a change in price. changes very little to a change in price. Okay? What, we, what influences the elasticity of demand? Goods with close substitutes tend to have a more elastic demand. Okay? Stuff that we can easily switch, right? We have close substitutes. The quantity <coughs> changes 
is going to be substantially the quantity that change the quantity change is going to be substantially to a change in price. Okay, if we can easily swap vanilla ice cream for for you know another flavor of ice cream or uh, yogurt, frozen yogurt or something like that, it's very elastic. Okay, eggs. There's not a lot of substitutes for an egg, right? An egg is an egg. So the demand for eggs is very inelastic. If the price goes up, we can't just switch and go buy make-believe eggs, you know? Necessities versus luxuries. So a luxury is going to be fairly elastic. If the price goes up, we don't need it. We don't buy it, okay? So with the price change, the quantity will change substantially. For example, a luxury like a yacht or a Ferrari or something like that. Inelastic, maybe insulin. If you're diabetic, you don't really care what the price is, do you? You need it. Chemo, right? If the price goes up, we still want it, yeah? How we define the market? A very broad market like food, yeah? If we just took food, there's no substitute, yeah? So if we define the market very broadly, remember we're talking about whatever market it is, yeah? We have supply and demand, we're analyzing it. If you were to characterize the food market, well, there's no substitute for food, is there? So. This is going to be very inelastic, right? If we started to take the food market apart and pick small segments of it, like ice cream or vanilla ice cream, for example, well, that becomes very elastic then, okay? So it depends on the market as we're defining it. Do you have a question? No. Time. Goods are more elastic over time. Over time, we can make changes that we can't make right away. Okay? So the example is, you know, if they increase subway fares, well, tomorrow, you still need to ride the subway. But maybe in a week or a month, you can get a bicycle or a carpool or whatever. Right? If the price of heating oil goes up, like because war breaks out and it goes up right away, we can't do anything about that. We have to pay the higher price, like now. But over time, we can, you know, switch to some other form of uh, heating our house, right, by wood, or we could knit sweaters or something like that, right? So, goods are more elastic over time. So. Computing price elasticity. We have percent change in quantity over percentage change in price. So if you had a 10% increase in price, which causes a 20% drop in consumption, which causes a 20% drop in our consumption of whatever it is we're talking about, the price elasticity is going to be the percentage change in quantity over the percentage change in price, in this case, 2. Okay? So the quantity changes twice as much as the change in price. 